Hi everybody! Today's video will be slightly different than my usual Wednesday videos. The reason for this is an upcoming conference this Friday where I will be talking about the importance of academic drawing as a tool in scientific research with specific application in, in history illustrations. So I decided to share with you some excerpts of the process of inking the, the Dacian warrior to the right. Uh, it's a very tedious process, a lot of try and error. Also, I've been working on a Dacian physiognomy to the left. This is not a finished drawing, it's based on the Roman statue. I'm going to be using today the typical ink diluted in distilled water, uh, doing some cross-hatching and hatching. Um, I started with cross-hatching and I ended up doing just hatching. Also, as a reference, I gathered everything I could find in terms of visual data in my Pinterest account. Um, I have just named a folder Dacia. You see here the Dacian or the Thracian or the Phrygian helmet, which is something you can you could see also in uh, Scythians, in Scythian armor. In addition to that, I did a lot of sketching in my sketch. But before that, I want to show you the manga paper that I'm using. I chose to use Bristol manga paper because it scans very cleanly. Uh, you can easily edit out any imperfections and it looks as if you drew it digitally, especially if your pen and ink uh, drawing is, is clean and organized. In my sketchbook, I did studies of Dacian helmets or Thracian helmets. I did a study of the pose that I'm using. I downloaded the pose from an art reference database on the internet and I simply traced it on my light pad. The light pad is uh, the white background that you see in most of my videos. I use it a lot, especially when I like a drawing but I don't like the rendering. I simply trace it again. I did studies of a Dacian flag, which was one of the most fascinating parts of Dacian culture. They had this flag with the head of a wolf and the body of a dragon and they made this um, frightening sound when wind would travel through it. Also, I did studies of Dacian statues that are um, over a hundred uh, left from the Roman Empire and Romanian peasants from northern Romania that are generally considered to be um, resembling of the Dacians, the old Dacians and also in their traditional attire. This is the f my intention, this is the final idea of my drawings to be turned into watercolors. And uh, now you're gonna see me inking the drawing. I basically do what I do in the other YouTube videos that I've been showing you. I start with the outline and I try to fill in the shadow areas. Uh, after I fill in all the shadow areas, I come with the details and try the cross hatching. Now what happened here is I did not like the cross hatching. It was too crowded, it was too unorganized, so I had to trace it again and I only did hatching. But before I finish, I'm very curious uh, what you think about this particular subject. Would you like to see more videos in the future on uh, history illustrations? Uh, did you find this helpful in any way? Uh, I know I've been very, very tired. I've been working so much this week. I'm also working on my PhD. so. This video was not the usual type, yeah, I wasn't able to show you the entire process from the beginning to the end, but if you find this interesting, I'm willing to do another one, uh, especially because I'm looking forward to drawing a mounted Dacian warrior and I have some really interesting data on the horses they used. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, hopefully see you soon next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.